Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel, and here we have our my co-star, <laughs> lovely wife June. Hello. Hello. Hello, June. Right, in, in the last tutorial, June installed her first Android application. It's a default application, Hello World, and she uh, ran that on the phone. Do you remember that, June? Yep. Good. Well, I've just got some questions for you. Yep. Um, can you show me where the Android manifest file is on an Android Studio? Manifest file? What's that? Uh, remember I introduced it to you last week? No, no, I'm not sure which one. Can you see if you can find it? Uh, here. Yep. Do you want to open that up again just to refresh your memory? Yep. Mm. Yep. Okay, this is where permissions goes and it's where we define your activity yep. inside the application. Okay, can you show me where the layout file is? Layout? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Can you open that up? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any views inside your layout file? I think here. Uh, what kind of view is it? Mm, palette view. I'm not sure. <laughs> What's that? Um, I'll give you a clue. Do you want to go into text? Text, yeah. What kind of view is it again inside your layout? Um, XML? No, no. Have a look at your text file. Yeah, text file. Yeah. So you've actually got one view inside there. Yep. Do you remember what kind of view it was? Text was Hello World. Yes, but do you remember what kind? Hello World is yeah. actually it's inside a container, which is a view. Mm -hmm. Do you know what kind of view that is? I'm not sure. No, okay. It's not the form view. No, no, no. It's yeah. Um, if we go back to the previous tutorial, mm -hmm. um, we had a layout, mm -hmm. and as I mentioned in the previous tutorial, the layout basically contains different types of views, mm -hmm. and in this particular application, it's just got one single view. Activity. No, no, no. It's uh, it's just one view. One view. Yeah. Hmm. I can't find any hint here. Yeah. Relative layout. That's the layout. So mm. all views are contained in a layout. Mm. So you can have one or more views inside a layout. What I'm just asking you is what kind of view you've got inside your layout. Mm. No idea. Really? Yeah. So you've forgotten? Okay, let's go to the design. Yeah. Can you click the design tab? Okay. Now... Oh, there's, there's layout, like frame layout. Yes, but my question is... Yeah. What view is inside that application that you ran last? Frame month? text view. <laughs> yes, it's text view. Mm. What, what do you say frame? Mm. Uh, plane. Te mm. Text view. If you look there, there's your relative layout. Mm. Okay. And there's your text view. Text view, okay. So the view inside your layout. The reason is because so many words. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember everything. I know, but that's yeah. why I was pointing yeah. you. So go back yeah. to the text file. Yeah. Can you see your text view there now? Text view? Yeah. Oh, here. Text yes. View. Yeah. So every view will yeah. be contained inside your layout, yeah. normally in this sort of format. Mm -hmm. So, and you just looked at the very beginning and you'll see text view. Text view. Oh, okay. I, I, did, I missed that. I thought, yeah, this one or that one. No. So if you have more views, they'll be underneath that. Oh, okay. Normally separated so you yeah. can spot them easily. Yeah. Okay, just one more question for you. Mm -hmm. Can you show me the source code where mm -hmm. your activity is? Source code? Yes, the file which contains yeah. your actual activity code. I'll give you a clue. The file is called main activity. Main activity. Yeah, activity main. Ah, here. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, this is, is this a code? Source code, yes. Source code, yeah. Yes. Okay, can you go to the top of this file? Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah go to the top of the source code. Cool. Go actually inside, yep, yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Okay, can you see the name public class? Main activity. Can you see inside the source code? Can you see public class? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So basically, yeah. you extend, see the words extend activity? Extend, yeah. Extend activity means basically you're going to grab the functionality from mm -hmm. that activity yeah. in your own class. Okay. So your activity is called main activity. Yeah. And your code running is inside that class. Yeah. Does that make sense? I think so. <laughs> uh, thanks. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I, yeah, so I, I will have to keep repeating these yeah. questions I so think, you yeah. understand Probably. for yeah. the world to see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so that's all clear. Mm -hmm. And just one other thing there. No, the, nothing else needs to be described here. So it's just important you memorize the structure, the layout of where files live inside Android and Android Studio. So if I ask you where to go, you'll know where to go next time? Um, probably this one, main activity. If I, if, if I ask, in other words, if I say, oh look, we need to go to your layout, yeah. would you know where to go? Uh, layout is inside the layout, activity yeah. main. Yes. Is that layout? Yes, that's it. And if I said to you we need to go to your manifest file? Uh, Android manifest. Yes. And if I said to you we need to go to your main activity file? Main activity Java. Dot Java. Yes, correct. That, and that's all you really need to know for the time being to navigate around the source code. Okay, Jane. Yep. Does this look familiar? Yeah. Okay, so I've got a relative layout, yep. but I've got no, I've got no views inside. Mhm. Mm yeah. So we look at my text. Yeah. Top and bottom is relative layout, but it contains no views. Yeah, I understand. So I'm gonna add a view that you're familiar with. Mhm. Mm um, I'm going to add a plain text view, mm -hmm. so you can just drag and drop it. Yeah. I'll put it somewhere in the middle, mm -hmm. and we need to add some text to my view. Mm -hmm. at, my, at the moment, my view goes new text, yeah. um, not very descriptive. Yeah. But before that, yeah. I need to show you another file. Mm -hmm. Inside the resource, mm -hmm. values... I'm going to open up strings.xml. So when you open up mm. this for the first time, this is mm. what you'll see. Mm. Okay? So do you recognize Hello World? Yeah. And that belonged to the text view yeah. of your application? Yeah. Um, look, style is different from my view before. It says resources. Yes, this is, we're now in the strings.xml. Um, so strings, if you want to add any text or sentences, mm -hmm. all those mm -hmm. get added into here. Mm -hmm. The reason is for this is you put all your text in one file for your whole application. And it also makes translations a lot easier. You just go to this one file to do your mm -hmm. translations. Okay. So all the text is all defined in here and you mm -hmm. will refer to it. To find a text, you'd mm -hmm. call like hello world or action strings. So what I'm gonna do here mm -hmm. is create a new string. Mm -hmm. And so it's the same as what you see above. It's got string name equals, and let's say hello underscore June. Yeah. And we'll just go hello June. Mm, yeah. Okay, so we've now created a new text here. And to refer to this, I'd go hello June, yep. and on the screen it'll display hello space June explanation mark. Now if we go back into our layouts, yep. and I go down below here, here's the text view. Yep. 
I can change new text yep. and to call that string file we yep. have to call it like this yep. and then I can select hello June. Yep. Now if we view the design here, yep. it's not very clear but you've got now hello June being displayed there. Oh, okay. Okay, does, does that make sense? I think so, yeah. Okay, so the next task I'm going to set for you is to create your own um, string mm -hmm. inside the string.xml and then change the text inside your text view and then run that and see if that works. Are you up to that challenge? Yep. Good. Okay. Okay, we're back now. June's going to do her little exercise. <laughs> yeah. Okay, June. First of all, can you go to the strings.xml? Yeah. We need you to create a new string. Yep. Okay, can you create a new a new string for yourself? Okay. You can call it anything you like. Yep. That's not my way. I, I write it by hand. No copy pasting for learner developers. <laughs> no copy, no paste. You have to you have to familiarize yourself okay, with text. Okay, okay, understand. So <laughs> I've never copy and pasted from zero. Yes, therefore you're a memorizer a lot easier. Like this. Yeah. So in name. Oops. Hello. Great. If you want to save that, yeah. command S. We're using Max. Okay, Jun, I want you to create a brand new text view mm -hmm. and then put that text string there inside the text view. Yeah. If you can do that, please. And then... So at the moment, if, June, if we just want to pause for the yeah. viewers, at the moment... Yeah. Um, can you move the mouse just to this yeah. location here yeah. and just hold it there? So at the moment, we've just got a relative layout, but yeah. it's got nothing in there. It's got no views. So June's going to put a view in there. Okay. So if you can just put a um, plain text view, for example, inside your layout. Um, yeah. No. Oh, no, this one? Yeah. Okay. And drag it in the middle. Okay, great. Now, can you put the string that you created in the string.xml file, yeah. can you put that inside your text view that you just created? Like so this? Yeah. So, sorry, the text view? Yes, so, so you've created some some text. Yeah, this is a text view. That's a text view container. Yeah. But it's what what's inside the text view container? Uh hello June. Oh here. Is it? Oh no. It says so, new text, but I have to change it to have hello June. Correct. Do you know how to do that? No here? No. Should be somewhere. It's in this file. It's inside the text view. That. Here. And um, here? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Delete? Yeah. Oh. Delete that. So you need to change new text. If you were to run your application now, you're yeah. going to see new text. Yeah. You don't want that, do you? You want Hello June. Oh, okay. Uh, so you want me to delete the original one? No, no. You can use that text view. That's fine. No, when no. You, when you, um, you... you want me to delete Hello World? Or... Oh, that's already gone. Oh, okay. We deleted Hello World before. Oh, it's still here, though. Uh, the string is... Mm -hmm. But the text view that holds the string has been deleted. Oh. Uh, well, not 
this one text have to find the one this is this says text view right oh here yes ah oh. No, 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 no. You don't need to do that because you've already done that in your string.xml. Oh, I see. To call your string.xml file, yeah. you need to use the and symbol. And? Our at symbol. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's got to be inside the um, braces. And? At, at and string. String. And then uh, forward slash. Yeah. And it's almost telling you where. Can you see it? Yeah. I you can press see. enter. Enter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So just to reinforce this, yeah. basically inside your text view, yeah. if I just move the bars for the viewers, mm -hmm. inside your text view, mm -hmm. you've got a number of settings here. Yeah. See the text setting? Yeah. The text setting is the actual text that's mm -hmm. going to go into your view. Yeah. And we're supplying it with the string Hello June from here. Yeah. Hello June? Yeah. And it's going to display that text. Yeah. Is, is that clear? I think from you extract from that string. Yes, exactly. And display here. Yeah. Exactly. So now, if you save that. Come on, this. Yep. Yeah. Now, if you go to your design tab. Design tab, yes. Yeah. Can you see what it says there? Hello June, yeah. I guess that's work. Okay, next step here is for you to run the application to see that if that works on the actual phone itself. Okay. Dozo. And save now or Yes, that's it. Okay. Yep. Wow. Happy? Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's not so easy to say, but there you got it. Hello, Jane. We should have recorded this one, but that's, that's okay. It's a simple application. Okay, so is, is that clear how yes. we went through the process to do that? Yeah. Just for everyone else, June created, she deleted the Hello Text, text view. She created a brand new text view. She added some string, a string of text in the string.xml file, and basically she put that string into the text view text component itself. And that's all she had to do. And so that's the sort of method you use to be adding strings to your layout as such. Was that okay, June? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay great. So, yeah. so you learned something on yeah. this one? Yeah. Okay. I think we'll call it quits for this one. You know, we'll slowly but surely build our way up. So thank you very much for June. Thank, thank you for watching. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for mm -hmm. watching. And if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. That's all for this one. Bye, Bye. for now. Bye-bye. Okay. Yep, I'll let you go for it to carry on with the next part. Track? Yeah. No, 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 no. You've already got your view in there. Yeah. That doesn't need to be changed. But you need to actually set the source for your view. Oh, I see.